Hello, and welcome to another episode of All Code Sucks, where we take a look at real production code and improve it in an educational manner. Anyway, let's jump into today's example, which I'm calling an extremely over-engineered print. And this is a real line of code that I found in a script at a previous company that I worked at. Uh, and it does what it's supposed to do, at least. So that part is at least fine. Uh, if you run this code, you'll see that it prints an entire line of equals, which can be useful if, I don't know, you wanted to print like some header in your code, you would, you know, do this twice and you'd have a fancy little header or something like this, um, which, you know, is nice. I I've written a few command line tools that do something similar like this. But the person that wrote this line both knew too much and also knew too little. Uh, so let's go over exactly what's going on here because there's, there's, there's quite a bit to break down. Uh, in different parts. I'm actually going to take this into the interpreter. That way we can see it uh, in action. So the first thing that's going on here is uh, there's being there's a list being built that contains 80 equals signs in here. Uh, and if we you know run this here, you'll see we get a big old list with a bunch of equals. Now this isn't you know terrible in itself, uh, but then they take this big list and they use a splat to put it into print. So essentially they're getting print equals, equals, et cetera, et cetera, as positional arguments. And then at the end, there's this sep equals empty string. Uh, and so this does work. This uh, print allows you to pass multiple arguments and it'll give you a default separate. By default, it's the space. So if you did like print one, two, three, you get ones with spaces around it. If you do sep equals the empty string, you get no separator between those. You can also use this to print a, a comma separated list. Um, although I usually find that join works a little bit better. So the first improvement that I would make to this is uh, sep is a little bit of an obscure feature of print. And so I would probably factor that out. Um, so the first thing that I would do is replace this with just a simple join of this here and get rid of sep. Uh, so this does exactly the same thing, but it's still not the best version of this code. Uh, the best version of this code is equal or strings in Python have multiplication. So you can trivially build a string that's 80 equal signs just by multiplying this together. And so after two simplifications, we end up at the final version, which is <laughs> a little bit a little bit simpler. Um, and I, I just assume that the, the person who wrote the original line of code didn't know about string multiplication. They did somehow know about sep, and they somehow knew about splat, which I think are two fairly advanced features of Python. Um, but there's a much simpler, much, much simpler version. Anyway, hopefully you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one.